Okay, we'll get to the Tigers at four. I just had to comment on the Baez remark by Scott Harris. I couldn't resist, but the Lions. And this show, is it sounds different than the other shows. I, I, I just, I don't understand how the words not winning Super Bowl didn't leave anyone's mouth today. Aiden's dead. So is your chances of winning the Super Bowl, as currently constituted. So you can either pray that there's a Bo Brisky in your D-line room, or you can find some mechanic from Ottawa who comes in and turns into, you know, Trey Hendrickson. Uh, or your GM is going to have to break character and be bold. So you want a name. All right. And I think people are focused on the wrong name. Oh, Max this, Max Crosby that. Max, Max Crosby ain't coming here. Okay, the, guy, the, 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 the guy's basically one step from having a, a Raider logo on his chandelier. And I ain't talking about the one in his dining room. <laughs> I want to give you a name. Yeah. Cheaper. Signed for three years. In a worse situation than Max. Organizationally. Hmm. And I don't think there'd be any fall off from Aiden to this player. And when Aiden returns in 2025, you would have the single best duo alongside Daniil Hunter and Will Anderson in Houston. I think the franchise desperately needs draft picks, is going into a rebuild whether they want to admit it or not. And because of their unique circumstance, you may be able to take advantage of it. I give you no smarm, no hyperbole, no hot take radio. I'm being serious. Miles Garrett. The Cleveland Browns are in disrepair. They are in free fall. They are going to have to, at minimum, draft a quarterback this year, which will trigger a rebuild. The fact is, whether they are able to package picks and move Deshaun Watson to, say, a Carolina to eat the money, you're triggering a rebuild. If you keep Watson, and the ginormous cap hit next year, I think it's $75 million. You're triggering a rebuild. What don't you have money for? $20 million a year edge rushers. And notice I said 20, not 28, not 32, not 35. Miles Garrett has three years remaining on his deal, $20 million bucks a year. It's reasonable. It's long-term. It fits the team's window. And right here, right now, if we believe this Lions team is still very good, you're going to be picking somewhere between 25 and 32 each of the next two years. Agreed? Mm -hmm. Call Cleveland up, offer a first-round pick, and see where it goes from there. Miles Garrett. And don't tell me Miles wants to sit there in Cleveland and rot the rest of his career. Unless he's got, like, a dog bone tattooed on his schwanz. Hmm. Miles Garrett. Hmm. You know what? I like that. Jeter respect. <laughs> I, you went bold. You swung for the fences. That's not the name that I was thinking of. I'm trying to win a Super Bowl. No, no. You said a you know a team in dis disarray, and I'm thinking because I was I was thinking Hassan Reddick. No, with the Jets, he doesn't want to be there, and he wants a long term deal. The Jets don't want to deal with this problem. Do you? Yeah, you kind of do. See, I don't know that he's good enough. That's my problem. See, I think he is. I mean, you can you could have your if own Miles Micah Parsons. Up, if okay, if Miles hangs up the phone on me, the Hassan Reddicks of the world come into play. But when you talk about a guy that doesn't seem like he's a Detroit Lion, like look up the dictionary for not grit, right? Hassan, Reddick. No, no. But see, this is where we're gonna find out because you know, the Lions in this locker room could be when all of a sudden you know the Patriots got Corey Dillon when they got mm -hmm. Randy Moss and all. And those guys became choir boys, and they fit in, and they were the malcontents until they got to New England, and they liked Winnie. And I think if you brought him in here, I think you could. You would have your own Micah Parsons. You would have that linebacker who you could put on the D-line and have him brush the pass rusher. And then when Aiden comes back, now, now you got a heck of a duo. And I think the Jets got buyer's remorse. It'd be cheaper. It'd be cheaper asset-wise. I, I, I am not interested in giving that guy a contract. That's my one hang-up. Uh, but, yeah. but, I mean, because you're I got to do line. something. Do we at least agree as a show here, yes. all of us? This I'm sorry, but if I got to hear another one of this next man up stuff, no. guys, you have one of the best football teams in the league. You are in a Super Bowl or bus window, 
Please do not call this radio show talking to me about we are built to be competitive for a long time. Ain't nobody interested. Because he, Give me you, one Super Bowl and 10 years of darkness. I'm good with it. Here's what you're going to find out. You're going to see that teams will send extra people out because you don't need that fullback. You don't need the running back. You don't need that tight end to double team Aiden Hutchinson. Now I can just have my tackle handle that and I'll have an extra man out there to run a route. I'll have an extra man to dissect your secondary that I don't think is very good. I think it can be, but yeah. right now it is not there. So, yes, we are in greens. Now, the Miles Garrett thing, I guess because of the name, I didn't even bother. Just think situational. You, you, just, you just sat down at the bar and said, hi, Margot Robbie, let me buy you a drink. That's what you just did. <laughs> my, 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 my point is. I'm looking at it from the other side where you have to be able to take advantage of someone else's misfortune. Cleveland doesn't get a choice. I I just, I think you make the call. And look, guys, before you immediately go, oh, well, he would never. Did you think A.J. Brown was getting traded? Did you think Christian McCaffrey was going to get traded at 11 o'clock at night? Guys, these things happen. Did you think Khalil Mack? was going to get dealt at the height of his powers. I'm just making a point to you. You don't get the order if you don't ask for it. And what I'm tired of in this town is this being safety city. Every GM in this town wants to be safe. Oh, I want to set us up to be good for a long time. Man, F them picks. Let's go win the Super Bowl. Mike, speaking of did you think Matthew Stafford was getting traded? When I heard that news, I was like, wait. Yes, I did. No, but I mean, not... I had to stop. This isn't real. Let me check the source. Let's make sure that this isn't some fake person. Like, wow, this is really <laughs> happening. <laughs> That's good. So go ahead. Now, listen, I'm not trying to fight with you guys. If you think you're still winning the Super Bowl after losing Aiden for the season, it's your prerogative. I disagree. We're never going to see eye to eye on it. There's no need to waste breath. I'm not fighting with you guys. It's the same tenor I have with the Tigers. If you're comfortable running it back and doing it on the cheap, God bless. I'm not. I don't want to run my ball club that way. If you're comfortable with Harvey being out there in 2025, your prerogative. Two plus two equals five. You got it. You figured it out. I'm not fighting because it's a matter of preference. But I just don't believe in my heart. I'm the guy who picked you to win the Super Bowl. But outside of Goff, Aiden's the one dude you couldn't lose. David, do, do we want to give David a chance to make yeah, fun of me yeah. and some ticket text, and then we'll get to the calls? Go ahead, David. I don't need to make fun of you here. Someone's saying, Mike, I agree 100% on Miles, but I couldn't disagree with you more about no Super Bowl. First off, that defense didn't miss a beat the minute Hutch got hurt. Oh, my gosh. I'm confused, Mike. Mm. Has been telling listeners <laughs> for three years that Hutchinson is nothing special and an average pass rusher who has hit his ceiling. Now we can't win without the Super Bowl? What show are you listening to? Mm. Where that I have said that. Can you help me with that? Oh, because of Rico's hat? Man, I swear just like moments ago I said he was up for Defensive Player of the Year. Or I said this was going to be his Miles Garrett year where he was fully going to break out and give you 16, 17, 18 sacks. It's cool. Hear, oh, no, no. hear it the way you need to hear it. Let me help you out with that. Or, David, if maybe I'm, I'm – it, this was the show when he first started his rookie year and everybody was – and I said, hey, guys, he's good. He's just playing out of position. Go back to how he played at Michigan. Make that happen. You'll see Aiden Hutchinson. I said that. This show said that. So, but you know, hey, 7.30 start time. Just hear it the way you need to hear it. <laughs> Whatever you got to do to rationalize, I don't care. I get paid either way. Well, you know, we also the clowns that clown j for no reason. You mean demanded accountability? Weird. Once the off-field stuff stopped, his production went up. Crazy. You know what I had to say about that? Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, Dave. That security guard is amazing. We just get, you know. That's right. my response anytime someone wants to argue these days. I just don't care anymore. I'm so sick of it. Go ahead, David. Brian Branch. Oh, Brian Branch is just as important as Hutch. Losing Hutch is tough but by no means takes us out of contention. Who's got a better offense? Okay, Good for you. I hope you have a blessed day. Next. I think you these know, people are just trying to make themselves no, feel better. No, 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 it's, no, it's, no, it's, no, no, it's copium. See, see, that's all this is. It's copium. 
they no no the offense they got seduced by what they saw for the past two games and how the Lions have been unstoppable. But you know what I'll say? Hey, remember last year when the Dolphins put up seventy and the Dolphins looked unbeatable? There was no, Dolphins going to win the Super Bowl until they didn't. This style of offense doesn't really play well in December and January. That's where you the cutesy stuff is out the window. Now you can run the ball, but you're not putting up forty five points like you've been doing. But they got seduced by yesterday's game. We'll just go out there and score 45 points on everybody. That's I don't think Minnesota's going to allow How that. about the idea that this division has the best quarterback play comprehensively of any division in football? And you just lost the best way to mitigate that. But that's all right. Go get yourself. Go get another hit of that copium. Shoot it right in your veins. Get some more of that copium. Sell them something. No, no, no. Go comatose for me. <laughs> 